Hello, welcome to Tenon Auto Electronics. Today I will be showing you how to remove the gauge cluster from a 2005 to 2015 Toyota Tacoma. So common problems we repair and that you're going to see between these years are gauges that don't move or that they just jerk, jump, or show incorrect values. A problem specific to 2005 to 2011 years is going to be getting a P0500 code for a vehicle speed signal malfunction, and that is even after replacing the speed sensor. Now some tools you're going to need is a plastic trim removal tool such as this one, a 10 millimeter nut driver, and a Phillips and flathead um, screwdriver. To start the removal process, we're going to need to pop um, open this bottom trim piece, and that is just because this top piece is, sits behind um, this trim piece. And to do that, we're going to need to remove two 10 millimeter bolts. One is gonna be located um, on the left and one on the right. The left one, you're just gonna need to pop open this tab um, and just to expose this um, bolt right here. And then on the right, it's gonna be located beneath um, or under this flap, which can be just opened by a flathead. And then the screw is, the bolt is right there. Then from here, you're gonna use the trim removal tool to pop open this um, right here. And then you can do the same on the right hand side, which is right here. And I will show how that looks like um, in the next part. So here I have popped open the bottom trim. And then one thing I forgot to mention in the last video is you can also um, watch the loose. You can also just pull it back and um, it will make it um, protective. The next step will be to remove the, this top piece. And to do that, um, I'm going to have two plastic um, Phillips screws here and here. After that, you can use the, the removal tool and just go around. And even down here, down here you can even use your hands and just pop it out. Um, and then on the other side as well, right there. Um, then once that's good, um, you can use both of your hands. And then from this side, you can pull it from here just to pop out the tab that's over here. And same in here, you can just grab it, grab it from here and then here and then just pop it straight out. On the next part, I'll show you um, how it looks like and then um, to remove the cluster. Now here's the, the whole trim piece and then as you can see here it has a couple tabs there with the yellow plastic right here um, and those are what actually holds the trim um, part in place here here and then here and then another thing is depending on the um, the options that your vehicle has it may have more connectors in this case it has three which you just push on the tab um, like as such and then just pull it straight out um, next for the cluster is going to have four bolts um, located here 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 and then down there um, and then once those are removed there's two connectors on top which is just push on the tab in the back and then just lift straight up like that and then once those four are removed you can take out the cluster I have removed the four screws and from here um, the cluster just slides out um, and then from here, you can always send it to us and we can always diagnose it and then give you a repair price. And then some, some tips that I can recommend is just if for, if you can't remove this trim piece easily, it's a good idea just to have the steering wheel all the way down. And then it'll just, um, it's better to just take it out through the side, through the left side. Um, and that's all. Thank you for watching.